They brought you on board, didn't they? Don't worry. I'll protect you. I'll look after you now. You'll look after me later. <laughs> Is the matter with you people? Hey! Why did you take off my clothes? I'm Rigel the 16th, dominar to over 600 billion people. I don't need to talk to you. I thought you were a prisoner. Falsely imprisoned. My cousin Bishan stole my throne from me while I slept. A mistake I will soon be correcting. Your garments were removed so that we could examine you. Examine? Examine me? How? W where? W Wait a minute, one of those, those mechanical things of yours injected me right here. Translator microbes. Microbes? They colonize at the base of the brain. Allow us to understand each other? Why you weren't injected at birth, I cannot fathom. What are you doing? I'm gonna sabotage this ship. Sabotage? Give me a break. They haven't heard us. How about we show them a little compassion? Compassion? What is compassion? Compassion? You're kidding, right? It's a feeling that you have when you see someone else's pain and instead of taking advantage of their weakness, you help them. Oh, I know this feeling. Yeah, well, it is a fairly common human feeling. Mm. I hate it. You know what? I'm on the wrong team here. I'm just gonna stay. Fine, do what you want, but if you stay with these lower lives, you'll die with them. Yeah, well, how do I know I can trust you? You don't. That's just another thing you don't know. No, no, absolutely not. Just get out of my face. Don't be a coward. You say you want to clean your teeth. Brush them. I want to brush my teeth. But to manually clean your teeth, as you describe, is highly inefficient. But it's too damn bad. You're not sticking that freaking maggot in my... What's it doing? Cleaning all the excess bacteria and food particles. Never swallow the dentic. Report. This is Aaron. I'm in the command. You better get up here quickly. It's kind of minty. I can't wait for him. Pilot, prepare the prowler. Very well. Come on. You're not going down there. If we don't get that crystal back, we're going to crash into the planet. I've got a plan. Oh, no, please. Let me guess. Your plan. Jam down to the planet, conduct a commando-style raid against, what, a couple of dozen heavily armed tabloids, and then haul ass back up to the ship. Have Lex. That's your plan. Wiley Coyote would come up with a better plan than that. What, you're just gonna go down there by yourself? No, of course not. You're coming with me. Oh, in your dreams, I'm coming with you. This is my turn. My plan. Now let's go. No, absolutely not. There are other things that we can do. We can try negotiating with the tabloids, we can... Have Lex. can reconfigure the sensors. Even if you can't, I'm following the same trajectory their shuttle did. I should land reasonably close to them. We can negotiate with the... You hit me. Hit? I... No, a Pantac jab. You are more susceptible than most. Next time you hit me, make sure that I don't wake up. Oh, don't me. This is not over with. And when it is, you and I are going to sit down and have a serious talk. Sure. When this is over, you and I will probably be dead. Slux and hyper rage, it doesn't just go away. You were wise to hide as you did, John. darko has been off the ship for three whole days, but we couldn't find you to tell you. You hide very well. You must have had a lot of practice. <laughs> Shut up. And was attempting to locate the source. I like my wives pregnant and my ships cold to the touch. 
That way my feet stay warm and my slumber is uninterrupted. Wives plural? Mm. Big fella. <laughs> suggest you start. Ease your weapon, Lieutenant. That is an order. Smart move, Captain. What are you doing aboard my vessel? Is this going to be another translator micro hiccup? Oh, John, you're fed up. Does that mean that you've had too many food cubes today? It was cute. It was vaguely, vaguely amusing the first six billion times. Something clearly is troubling you, John. Perhaps I can... So what? Um, so you, you're going to help? Is that it? Maybe. Before, when you were a priest? Guess what? You resigned. How many generations of your species have lived and died to lead to you? How many will die after you? All in the name of achieving a state of perfection. You don't think I understand you, do you? Oh, I understand. No, believe it or not, we've had men like you on my planet. Educated men. Men of science and medicine. Men who are searching for some self-described ideal and willing to maim and murder untold thousands to find it. There was one. His name was Mengele. To him, anyone who was fair game was the subject of his experiments. The weak, the handicapped, men, women, children. The quest for perfection demands our unwavering devotion. This Mengele sounds like a visionary. He was a monster. There's nothing you can say to me that- You just shut up and you listen to me. In that future conversation, when Matala offers you to go to the Elonic Wars, you tell her it is impossible. You tell her that your crime, the crime that you were imprisoned for, would stand in the way. Now, not the crime that you told us, not the crime that you say you were in prison for, but the real crime. The crime that you've been keeping secret from everybody on board this ship. How do you know that? You can't. Well, I do know. And I'm telling you the truth. Dargo, Matala is the enemy. You were born to this. I mean, th this science, you you've had it your whole life. You have no idea how advanced it all is to me. I think I do. No, I don't think so. Disease and death are rampant on my world. Bacteria and viruses destroy crops, animals, people at, at incalculable rates. Well, each ecosystem has its own logic, so maybe yours is a simpler way of keeping populations under control. No, 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 this is a better way. The suffering that you've managed to avoid with your science is immeasurable. Creatures still die out here. 
and we find new ways to suffer and to make others suffer. Well, I never said Earth had a monopoly on that. But you say that you want to go back to this place, Earth, a place that you tell me has so much disease and suffering. No, you guys don't have chocolate. Sitting here alone now? I chose not to. Our peacekeepers were trained to fight alone, survive alone, die alone. Well, it appears my training is failing me. I don't want to die alone. What did you see? You know, after the kill shot when you were dead, did you see the things that, you know, that, that humans believe, the light, friends? No. No, I didn't. Unless I was black. I don't know, maybe suspicions are right. Maybe there's nothing after this. Maybe. Maybe. I wasn't supposed to die that time. Maybe you'll find out for certain this time. of the moment. Exactly. Too much pure oxygen. Affected our judgment. I, if it had been you and Dargo there, same thing probably would have happened. Or you and Zan. Anyway, one thing's for sure, it'll never... never happen again. Never. <clears throat> never. Never. Thing. Just to be absolutely certain, you are the female of your species, right? I get the feeling you're gonna get the hang of things soon. <laughs>